Yeah, so resistance to therapy is now becoming less and less common, which is great. Um, in fact, you know, the trainees that work with me um, complain that they don't get enough experience treating patients with resistant virus. Um, there, there are essentially two ways that a, a patient with HIV um, gets um, exposed or, or uh, acquires resistance. One is it can be transmitted. So you can get a resistant virus from somebody else. Um, the good news is that most of the transmitted resistance um, that we see now is easily covered by our, um, uh, our recommended initial therapies. So, so you can get a resistant virus. Um, in general, the vast majority of those are pretty easily treated. Um, the other way, of course, to get a resistant virus is if you don't take your medicine consistently and over time the virus can become resistant if it's exposed to low levels of, of uh, medication. So the virus replicates in the presence of medication and that leads to resistance. The good news, again, is that many of our first-line therapies um, very difficult to develop resistance because if you're taking um, some of it, it usually... Um, even if you're not perfectly adherent, um, you usually maintain suppression. Um, but um, the other group are people that have been on therapy for years and years and years who had resistant virus from when we didn't have as good medicines, when our medicines were given less frequently or um, had adverse effects so people had trouble taking them. Uh, and there are new drugs being developed. We, we have um, several uh, uh, new drugs that have come online in the past few years that are very effective against resistant virus. And there are at least two uh, drugs that are very close to getting approved that also will work against resistant virus. Sure. So the two therapies, um, one is a, actually a, a, a monoclonal antibody called ibilizumab. It actually blocks uh, binding of the virus to the, to the CD4 molecule so the virus can't enter the cell. Um, that has to be given as an infusion, so it's not perfect for everybody, but it's been uh, clearly shown to work in people with resistance to other medications. And then the other drug that's pretty close is something called Fostemzivir that also blocks the attachment of the virus to the CD4 cell. Um, that's a pill, which is good, um, though it is twice a day pill. Uh, and again, it's been shown clearly to be effective against resistant virus. So um, for those people, which is a small number, who don't have a, a, a viable treatment right now, those, are really, um, those will be very useful for them.